This is China's history of nail art. Have you ever closely examined your fingernails? As one of only two types of continuously growing human tissues, nails have been valued by people for a long time. In ancient Egypt, the color of one's nails was a symbol of social status, with red being the mark of the highest class. Additionally, pharaoh's funerary jewelry often included gold fingernails and toenails. In China, nails are closely tied to ancient rituals and customs. So let's start with nails keeping. It dates back to over 2,000 years ago during the spring and autumn period and the warring states period. Nails, besides symbolizing social status, were even regarded by those in power as rather significant tokens. Since the Tang and Song dynasties, the connection between nails and ritual customs has grown even stronger. People at that time firmly believed that only by strictly following the Chinese calendar when trimming nails could they avoid calamities, and the nails clipping had to be carefully disposed of. Furthermore, in the stricter funeral customs and regulations, such as those found in the collected statutes for the Ming Dynasty and other major national laws explicitly instructs that cut hair and trim nails, collect them in a small bag and place them in the coffin when dead. If keeping nails was considered to be a standard for ancient literati and nobility, then playing with the appearance of the nails was equally important. By the way, nails get decorated Asian nail art techniques can be roughly categorized into two types, dyeing nail and wearing nail guards. Among these, nail dyeing can be traced back as early as 3,000 years ago. During religious rituals, people would paint various patterns on their nails as a way of seeking blessings from the divine. During the Tang Dynasty, the heyday of nail coloring, people even discovered a nail art secret formula of using fusion alum to dye their nails. In addition to this, there were also some vibrant and highly pigmented plants used for nail coloring, such as Hatna and Passion's Balsamina and Asian nail polish made by several plants. Of course, the custom of coloring nails were not limited to women. Surprisingly, men did it too. You see, nail art has never been a woman's prerogative. During the Song and the Yuan dynasties, there also came to be the tradition of pounding and patient's balsamina to dye nails red on the Dragon Boat Festival or the Qixi Festival. Even up to our generation, many of us have dyed our nails with flowers during our childhood. I remember back then, coloring my nails with my favorite color could keep me happy for an entire summer. It's surprised to realize oh, how little it takes to stay happy during our childhood. In the Ming and the Qing dynasties, besides nail coloring, the development of nail guards also reaches peak. Among all, noble women were primary users for nail guards. There was the gold nail guard during the Ming dynasty. And there were the mm, exceptionally long nail guards of Empress Dowager Cixi. In summary, the higher the status, the more luxurious the nail guards were. I have to say the millennial long nail art has witnessed the human pursuit of beauty and has documented the changing cultural trends of different dynasties. I'm Eva and I will see you next time.